Stephen yes. Pearl is the associate head coach of Auburn men's basketball with us, the SEC tournament champs. We did talk to Stephen uh, Sunday and congratulate him then, but we'll do it again now. Congrats, coach, on the championship. Um, I know there's a lot of debate on what conference tournaments mean to the NCAA tournament field, and I think that debate has been answered. But you cut down a net and you raised a trophy, and that's always important. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, our fourth uh, SEC championship since 2018, um, you know, that never gets old. Um, it's an unbelievable accomplishment in such a in such a hard league. Um, you know, it's just it's really hard to win the regular season title. It's hard to win the conference tournament title. Uh, it, it, it's just, you know, it's a grind. Um, and, you know, it says a lot about, you know, the tra- trajectory of our program and the kids that we have in our locker room and the staff, you know, to find a way to do it four times at Auburn. Uh, speaks tremendous volumes, and uh, we're obviously incredibly proud of our guys. Steven, I'm a degenerate, so I was watching the Ivy League championship on Sunday. I was watching Brown and Yale. But Yale has this kid, Danny Wolf, and I'm sure you've watched film on him. He's a seven-footer. He does a lot of different things. They play really good yeah. defense. Not the most athletic team, but when you really do a deep dive on this Yale team, what are you guys getting? Yeah, I mean, Danny Wolf is a seven-foot guy that, like like you probably saw, will bring the ball down in transition and, like, put the put it between his legs and, like, get to the rim. You're not seeing a lot of seven-foot white guys doing that, you know, ever. <laughs> um, so, ever. obviously, in- incredibly impressive. Um, you know, their point guard, Bez and Bang, is a, you know, he's a two-time all-defensive player of the year in their conference. Uh, you know, really, really quick athletic point guard who, you know, gets them into their stuff. Um, you know, their starting five is, is really, really solid. You know, August Mahoney is one of the best three point shooters in the country at 46 percent. Um, number four, uh, Palukadas is a 38 percent three point shooter and hit some huge shots in that Brown game. And then Matt Noling, who was actually there when we played them uh, at Auburn two years ago, him and Mahoney were both there. You know, he's a six. He's like a he's like a Chris Moore playing power forward for him. So um, they have five really, really good players. Uh, they drop off a little bit when they go to their bench. Um, but as far as their starting five goes, you know, the, they're as competitive as, as anyone, you know, I would say they'd finish somewhere, you know, between eight and 10 in our league, honestly, that that's how good this team wow. is. And, you know, all their analytics kind of show that they're top 80, you know, 85 in the country in a lot of these, you know, in, in Ken Palm and in the net and things like that. And that's higher than, you know, five or six teams in our league right now. So we're going to have our hands full offensively they're very solid they run really good stuff and like you said defensively they get after you you know they 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 really try and press up into the ball they frame off of all the ball off the bigs and um they chase everything and they're really physical they don't allow offensive rebounds so they're 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 a good team and obviously we're gonna have our hands full with our first round matchup um first off let me correct myself as taylor ran by our big glass window here reminding me she's the one that wants on the shuttle <laughs> <laughs> on, on the charter, not me, not me. She wants the charter. Auburn not grad, me. I think yeah, she, Auburn yeah, grad. Yeah. She wants on the charter, not yeah. me. She gets she gets priority for sure, a hundred percent. But Taylor and I had the opportunity to be in the post game locker room up in Nashville three times. First of all, God bless you and all the coaches uh, keeping up with those personalities all season long. What a group of guys you got! How does that personality? Uh, um, they don't seem to have any stress about their life how can that help you uh in the ncaa tournament because they seem to have such great chemistry great sense of humor it seems like that lets the stress uh, be limited in the course maybe even a big games have you seen that in big games that they don't really get stressed out about stuff yeah i mean for the most part i would say it's accurate we as coaches it stresses us out that they don't get stressed out because you know <laughs> you want them to you know be a little bit more on edge a little bit but i think that's you know part of why we were able to go into the sec tournament and win three games in three days because you know while 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 we respect certain opponents those guys aren't really scared of anybody um which is a good thing you know i think that's a good thing it's a healthy balance between the two um but yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's a group full of personalities and a group full of guys that enjoy being around each other and, and just get excited to play. The biggest thing, you know, for our group is we got to continue to keep that chip on their shoulder because you know going into the SEC tournament, you know, nobody was picking Auburn to win to win that tournament. They were picking, you know, they were picking Florida, they were picking Kentucky, they were picking Tennessee. They they weren't picking Auburn. So um, 
you know, we, we obviously fed that to our guys and our guys use that as fuel and motivation. And, you know, even now there's teams or, you know, all these experts that are picking Yale to beat us in the first round and all these different things. So we just got to obviously use that as motivation to fuel the fire because our guys have, have done a pretty good job of response that, you know, all year. And, and it's helped us win a lot of games. One thing, Stephen Pearl is with us, the associate head basketball coach at Auburn on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. One of the other things that clearly motivated this team, because I heard your players say it after games, is this narrative that you guys were a different team away from Neville Arena. And obviously Bridgestone Arena sounded like Neville Arena a lot, but it, it was did. not. It's not Neville Arena. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how much of a driving force did you find that with your team? Yeah, I mean, that was that was the narrative all year. But, you know, if you look at, you know, our games away from home, you know, there's a, there's a site called Torvik, a T-rank analytics site that's similar to Ken Palm. But in neutral only games, we were number two in the country nationally, analytically. Away plus neutral, we were number four in the country nationally. And then away only, we were 13th in the country nationally. So the whole narrative that we were only good in Neville – is 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 you know it's a bunch of bs honestly like we we played really well away from home all year long um you know we lost some some quad one games on the road in in close games the only one that really got away from us was the florida game uh, so our guys have done a good job obviously playing away from home but you know to speak on you know what bridgestone arena was it, it, that was neville north i mean i talked to coach golden after the game and i was like dude that <laughs> that was a home game and he was like, yeah, but, you know, you guys have earned that, you know, from, from you know, the, obviously the basketball you guys have been playing and, and the following that you've obviously uh, gotten over the years. But it, it was unbelievable the amount of fans that were in that building uh, that drove up from all different parts of the state. You know, we after the game, we're walking back to the hotel and countless people coming up to us and being like, we heard you guys on the radio. As soon as you said, get in your cars and bring your ass up to Nashville, that's what we did. And, uh, you know, it just shows that the Auburn family is, you know, as good a fan base as there is in the country. So our guys obviously responded well to that. But, you know, now we're going out to Spokane, Washington. And like you said, Jim, it's 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 hard to get out there and it's expensive. Like you, 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 you've probably looked at the, the plane tickets and the prices. You know, it's it's a, over a thousand dollars for a round trip to get out there. And then you got to obviously pay for your hotel. So we're not going to have that same luxury in, in our first round game. And if we're lucky enough to advance our second round game, and then if we're lucky to advance to the Sweet 16, we're going to be playing a UConn team that's going to be a home game for them, um, you know, come 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 that round. So, uh, obviously, it's it's a tough road. But at the end of the day, in the NCAA tournament, you got to play the best teams anyway. Um, so, you know, we just got to take it, you know, one game at a time, uh, one opponent at a time, and just focus on what's in front of us. We've always heard this is a guard tournament. You guys know what you get in the front court with, obviously – your bigs down there, but Denver Jones, double digit six of his last seven games. Uh, he's playing better than we've seen him play all year long. Yeah, just playing with a ton of confidence right now. And you know, to to his credit, man, he he stayed patient all year. Um, coming from uh, FIU, where he was averaging over twenty plus points a game, shooting double digit shots every single game. You know, Denver did an unbelievable job of of staying patient. You know, with his role, and all the while, you know he would be guarding the best player on the other team pretty much every single night uh, and doing a great job at it. So uh, I'm really happy for Denver because, you know, everything that he's done has paid off to this point. Uh, he's been a big reason why we've been able to win six in a row, uh, win an SEC championship. And, you know, he just continues to knock down big shots and continue to show he's much more than just a three-point shooter. You know, he, he can get downhill to the rim, finish around the rim through contact. He can get to his mid-range. Um, so he's, he's such a complete player and, uh, obviously for us to continue to be successful, Denver's got to continue to play at a high level, but our, our guards, you know, like you said, our front courts is, is, is really solid. And I think the best part about our back court is you really don't know which one of them is going to kind of go off at any certain moment. It could be, could be Denver. It could be Chad, you know, Chris Moore is playing the best basketball of his career right now. You know, I think he went like nine for nine or something in the SEC tournament and, and just gives us a tremendous boost off the bench. KD Johnson is going to KD Johnson. And then our point guards obviously have been really consistent and, and solid. And, you know, Trey Donaldson did an unbelievable job late in that game at uh, Florida when it was a one point game, really giving us a boost, hitting out a couple threes, getting us out in transition and got us a spark to get that thing back up to 10 points. Uh, I literally have not unpacked from Nashville yet. You guys will be on a plane to Spokane and I assume about 48 hours from when you landed from Nashville. Did uh, did the guys get a day off yesterday? Did you guys start putting in Yale game plan yesterday? Is that going to happen at the practice today? How's it been going uh, transitioning to game planning from Yale after the Florida win? 
Yeah, so we got home uh, Sunday night, you know, around 6 or 7, oh, I guess like 7 or 7.30. And then um, guys obviously hung out a little bit and celebrated as they should. And then they were off yesterday. We we, we got together for a little bit at 2.30, and um, we watched a little bit of good defense from the Florida game. They did a recovery lift with Coach D, um, stretched, got some shots up on their own. Um, and then, you know, obviously had class all day yesterday and today. And uh, we have practice today at 11. And then we will head to Montgomery at 12 or at 1 o'clock today and get on a plane to fly out to Spokane. So it's, you know, we'll put in a little bit of the Yale stuff today. I had the Yale scout, so I started working on that, obviously, on the on the flight home from Nashville. So, um, you know, we'll put in some of their stuff today. Uh, give them just a taste of it just so they can see it. But then, obviously, a, a major part of the prep will start once we get out to Spokane. Um, and, you know, we, we, we could either fly out today or tomorrow, but we thought with it being, you know, obviously completely across the country, yeah. um, we're going to just get the travel out of the way today and do a majority of our prep once we get out there. If everything goes well, is the plan to come back to Auburn or do you go straight to Boston? We're going to go straight to Boston if, we, if we're able to win two games. So we're gone for, you know, a couple of weeks, which is, you know, kind of, kind of unheard of honestly um so we'll you know obviously friday hopefully win friday play sunday hopefully win sunday and then we'd play thursday uh in boston so we'd go straight from spokane to boston um and just get that travel out of the way as well yeah i was worried about that because i mean because there's a chance especially being in spokane you could get that late sunday game and i mean that yeah. might that might be monday morning travel even if if you play that late sunday game out there that's that's probably what it'll end up being because yeah. uh, there's like a noon there's like a noon Sunday game, but then the rest of the games I think are piled up in the afternoon or e- early evening. Yep. So we'll definitely probably stay Sunday night, fly out Monday morning. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, let's hope that's the case. Hopefully, Coach. Yeah. yeah, no, no doubt. <laughs> yep. Congrats, and uh, hopefully we're doing this again uh, this time next week, talking about uh, the next rounds. No doubt, fellas. Appreciate you guys. All right, thank All right, you, coach. Man. Thank you. Take care. That is Stephen Pearl, the associate head coach of Auburn men's basketball. Don't forget, you can pick all the games and uh, the My Bookie Bracket Challenge, MyBookie.ag, also presented by Champions World Famous Fried Chicken. Uh, you got prizes on the line there from MyBookie.ag. They're giving away a TV if you're first place. Second place, you get uh, store credit, next round dot store. Third place, our friends from Champions. Uh, we'll give you a $50 Champions gift card. MyBookie.ag bringing you the Next Round Bracket Challenge. NextRoundLive.com.